Okay, here's some kind of fun that I thought I'd share. Um, I was fiddling around up at the other house with what I had on hand, and I wanted to make a pulse motor. And um, it just it, uh, something I, I get a kick out of doing. And I came up with the idea of making a rotor using two nails glued together and a hex nut. And uh, I'm calling this the two nail motor. And you can freeze frame this and, and see what's going on here. And it all started out with something that S Smart or Smart Creations uh, came up with years ago about using a hex nut on a shaft for a Mendocino motor. And he put magnets all the way around the hex nut, north, south, north, south, north, south, all the way around here. And uh, he ran our Mendocino motor, and he had one that uh, he's been running for six years on um, a two transistor uh, push-pull kind of circuit that I've been using also but I started playing around with that idea first and then um, I had gone to the hardware store and I'd gotten these uh, little uh, samples of flooring which are very similar to what we've got here on our floor here in the house and uh, they give them away or they cost 25 cents and I was thinking you know what can I do to make a quick pulse motor and I just started working on it and I came up with this um, very simple pulse motor which I'm calling the two nail motor and I'll turn it on here I'll show you what's going on this is just a six farad super cap with a couple of volts in it and that made a really nifty pulse motor using the nails and what I did was um, I heated them up on the stove and then ground them I have a bench grinder up there at the other house and I ground them to a sharp point and made this pulse motor and I added this little adjustment for the tension on the bearing so you could adjust the tension on the bearing and the bearing is just a uh, the nail running in a Phillips screw with really good oil and you run it and run it and run it until it burnishes itself and creates this uh, this bearing surface in the uh, screw and then with the tensioning you can make it run uh, pretty darn smooth for a long time and this is what it looks like when it's put together it's just super glued gel and you put the glue on the two ends of the nail there, the heads, and you hold it together and you hold it straight. You got to hold it really straight. Then you wrap some tape around it and then you put the hex nut on it and you can build up your uh, magnet arrangement any way you want. I did north north here for this setup here um, to make a regular uh, monopole, like a Bedini monopole thing out of it. And this is the simple circuit, just a coil of wire uh, with a reed switch with the LED across it. It draws about 50 milliamps and a volt and a half. And uh, that's what's going on there. And uh, anyway, I thought I would share this with uh, anybody that wanted to build up something pretty simple. It's just a uh, sample of these flooring things. I used a tongue depressor and then uh, I just nailed it on the side and punched a hole in there for the screw. And if you want to put crazy glue in the hole it makes a, a better bushing that won't wear out. But then I made this little tensioning device here that you could adjust the tension on the bearing. And I even made another one using a steel shaft and then another one using the uh, wood with a needle in it. and they all run good but I thought I'd share this needle or this nail rotor idea that uh, I'd never seen anybody use before. You'd think it'd fly apart but it doesn't. Hangs in there for some reason on this low uh, low RPM. This isn't running that fast but um, it gets the job done and you can see this is winding down, the energy is going out of this, but I can adjust the uh, tension with this little thing right there and make it run a little longer. But anyway, I just thought I'd share that with people, that you can make a pulse motor rotor out of a couple of nails and a hex nut. And I think uh, 
to Smart Creations, he's the one that gave me the idea of using the hex nut on a shaft. Thanks for watching.